Welcome to Crazy Town's 10 Minutes or Less. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT9. I'm IT Explosive. One start the timer. Boom. Uh, TNT. So I saw a news story the other day that they were looking for a woman who uh, randomly pepper sprayed a man. Oh, my God. I heard about this. <laughs> Did you? And, like, she said that she reported him to security because she thought he was... Uh, hanging out with kids that weren't his kids. Yeah, he was and, recording kids. Yeah, and then when he uh, went to go take a picture of the kids, she pepper sprayed him and ran him away. Or ran away. Mm. They're his having kids, man. Yeah. <laughs> like, he was there with his kids. This lady no. just pepper sprayed this dude. <sighs> All right, this happened in Texas, too, mind you. So I mean, this doesn't surprise me. Yeah, this definitely happened in Texas. I have to say, Jonas, is that there is a... Like, people were locked up for COVID and they've come out and they've just lost their goddamn minds. All yeah, right? it was start it was creeping up like when when COVID was still kind of yeah. like heavy and like yeah. now it's kind of down most places and most places yeah. have opened back up for most the most yeah. part. But it's still people are real quick to like they are on edge out here. Yeah, dude, get locked get locked down, think you're going to die all the time for 2 years right? and then come out into the streets and you're just like And and the fact of the matter is that these people who are on, on edge were people who were already on edge to begin with and this was just like the the teetering point that pushed them over the edge. Yeah. I oh. think that there is a habitual pandemic of people not minding their own fucking business. I was going to say, this sounds more like a problem of people not minding their own goddamn business. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's what it it's, is. It's one thing if this dude was hitting these kids or touching these kids. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, maybe but call the cop, but call the cops. Don't go get involved yourself. I mean, you could have just asked them. Well, right. But I mean, like, even if, like, in, in this situation, he was just filming and whatever. Yeah. So people film and take pictures of their kids all the time. But, but like, even if this was reversed and she was at the park and she saw this man, like, inappropriately touching a child or hitting a kid, oh, you well, could yeah. still go to the security guard or whatever. Or That's call what the, she did. But, like, call the effing cops if you really need something. But, like, if a dude is know. just there and you don't like that he's taking pictures of kids, like. Just ask them. They're like, oh, are those your kids? I mean, you already in, you already nosy as hell anyway, right? Exactly. <laughs> if you if you're just ask him, just ask him. He's like, oh yeah, that's my son Bryson, yeah. and it would have been it would have been handled. But no, you know, you what you did, you saw him taking pictures. You're like that man taking pictures over there, yeah, because you too scared to do it. it, it mm, I mm, I'm okay. To, I'm about to get on one. Well, I feel I'm about you, to man, get on one because I I mind my business. 99 percent of the time oh yeah man we from up north though we mind our business it's like but it's just like i can't tell you how many people i was with it, like i mean even even like people i've been around girlfriends i've had and they're just like doesn't that just bother you that xyz is going on and i'm like i don't really don't even notice i don't care yeah because i don't care it ain't none of my business ain't right it ain't none of now like if i saw a dude like beating the hell out of his girlfriend or something you know it's like there's some situations that you're just it's like what but still would i get involved or would i be what i call the police you know what i mean it's like i ain't trying to die for nobody yo like absolutely not like no absolutely not, not especially not no stranger absolutely not like yeah it's I don't know. Get on your so, box because so, you said you're about so, to. <laughs> so Texas, Texas is definitely known for just not minding their own business, man. Texans cannot help themselves. So they want to shoot somebody because they got guns. So let's speak on the fact of the, the new Texas law of the fact that uh, you you can't get an abortion. Oh, did you see they arrested a girl? Yeah. And then they dropped and, the case. And then they dropped the case because they found out she had a miscarriage. Right. All right. So like I said, <laughs> Texas came on their own business. Yeah, dude. They so, really want to get up in so it. So what, what are they doing by enacting this law? They're forcing the people who want to seek out this procedure to go and do it elsewhere. Or have their baby. And, or have a baby that they don't want is going to get put in the system and and let's look at some of the states that border texas you got what louisiana right uh, does it i don't know I arkansas don't know. arkansas oklahoma mexico mexico right which ain't the safest place to get something done period no, and we no. all can agree on that no matter what side of the fence you you stand right on. right exactly so instead of allowing people to do what they wish to do with their body you've decided to make it illegal for that to happen forcing some of these people to go to uh, granted perfectly normal states and within the americas that they can get the procedure done properly yeah. or a choice of going to mexico and what do they do it on they do it on the principles of religion yeah dude that, I'm, whole, I'm, that whole church and state thing you know and you mean you, i mean you, and you have a lot of religion in your life or Jonas, have had in the past <laughs> 
I saw a clip from the Young Turks where a young lady was talking about how she didn't care about people's religion and how it should not affect political movement, and I have to 100% agree with that. I'm a Republican to the day that I die, Jonas. I neither believe that either side is totally absolved of all their sins. Oh, and no, you, they're all you've bad. You've got to be insane to think that one side is better than the other one. But I will tell you one thing is that I do not think that any religious belief structure should influence any law and the law and i'm gonna tell you i'm gonna tell you it from a christian point of view is like yo if you really want to prove yourself worthy in the eyes of god should you not resist the temptation with it being there not have to have persecution placed upon you in order to prevent yourself from doing something that you think is morally wrong well well right because if because if that if a person decides to do something that a religious person thinks is morally wrong and that god's gonna judge yeah. them that's between that person and their god that's where that's where the whole oh my god that's where religion comes from is really is not doing the thing that you know is bad because god told you to not not doing the thing because you know it's bad because the law tells you not to amen you should obey the laws of the right, land right. and the laws of the land should be helpful to humanity well, but this is not helpful because people can still do it because you decided not to do it in your community in your state does not mean that people are not going to do it they're going to do it allow them to do it safely and keep your religion well, to yourself. It's, you it's, don't want to get an abortion? Don't get an abortion. Right. You don't want to smoke weed? Don't smoke weed. Right. Take well, that up with your God. Well, it's like they're trying to police everybody. It's like, well, I think it's wrong, so no one should be able to do it, rather than like, let everyone do what the hell they want. And, and granted, I feel that because murder is bad. Yeah. Nobody should be murdering. Human trafficking is bad. Yeah. Nobody should be doing that. Yeah. I feel you. Yeah, exactly. Stealing is bad. Shouldn't be doing that. So is is abortion murder? Um, I'm not talking about that on the podcast, yo. <laughs> well, guess what, Jonas? What? In most of these states in America, you can get one. Yeah. So, I a, mean, it's I, legal. I'm a big uh, proponent of people. I figure that people can do uh, whatever uh, they want to do. I agree, too. Um, it I'm just lesser. bothers me. It, it's just one of those things that bothers me. And yo, know, I've been living in Texas for how long now, Jones? Like four years, five years. Five almost, years, I guess. Yeah, almost. you've been here. Yeah. And and I do notice little things like that just coming through the news, like the, the couple of stories that you brought up, and it just it 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 irks me a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I have a big problem with people being nosy, dude. In general, yeah. man, like yeah, it just yeah. it. I have because not everybody is. Well, mm. the other thing is too, man. Like I've had girls that like I would like see and like they show how nosy they are and stuff and i like it literally starts to like make me like change a little bit how, how i feel about them like <laughs> why, why are you all up in everybody else's business man like why yeah like it's like yeah yeah, yeah. it's it, and i don't know what it is about it essentially it's just like is that, why do you why are you so mad that someone else did something that you don't like now do you think that's a like a uh a, a, a southern thing or is that a female thing or is that just uh and no because it happened with chicks up north too dude like it ain't it ain't like only southern girls care so too much think, about think it's just women in general I mean, but it's dudes right. too some dudes right. are the same way i, I mean, mean that is big facts that's I mean, big facts yeah there's dudes who like you know their neighbors noisy they'll give them two minutes and go start pounding on the goddamn door like what do you do like, and I think I, I, I almost feel like <laughs> like uh, speaking on other people's situation is one of those things where it's like uh, people fall like shy on what to talk about in conversation and talking shit on somebody else is just like it's easy pickings. Yeah. And I we can all hate and we can all feel cathartic yeah. about it because of the Sheldon Freud that we're experiencing because this person's life isn't perfect when nobody's fucking no. life is perfect. But, but I guess I'm kind of a little bit, I'm a little different. Than, I don't really like talking about other people. I don't really like hearing about other people unless they're people that are close to me and like somebody like, you know, like I, one of our buddies, I was like, yeah, I just figured I'd tell you because you're friends with him too and like he's in a, he's in a hard spot and whatever. Yeah. That's one thing. But like if you were like, hey man, this person, you have no idea who they are let me tell you about all their problems i'm like i don't want to know yeah and like, honestly if, if, if like you know my personality well enough where if you come to me talking about somebody i'm not generally going to just start talking shit on them anyway it's not no. going to be it's not going to be a little hate party 
No, <laughs> it's not, and I never going to be that I don't person. Even talk bad about my exes, dude. I think it's bad. It's bad nomenclature to keep people's names in your mouth badly for bad reasons. Yeah, it, that is, it's it's kind of it's kind of nasty. It's kind of nasty. It's like if I don't have anything nice to say, I'm just not going to say anything at all. Yeah, like and I'll respect that about you, you for sure. You know, and, I, and, and you know, and I can even find good things to say about people I don't care for. It, like, oh yeah, like oh yeah, I don't like you, but like I guess like you're nice. Yeah, sometimes there's, there's definitely <laughs> there's definitely some people that you could you could have spoken to me about negative ways and i have to say is that you do not do it no i don't normally yeah normally i just i just keep i mean sometimes if i get real yeah, real heated i'll yeah. be like that f and b that a hole like whatever you know but like it's rare it's yeah. and it's usually quick short and done yeah and like yeah but it's never like jonas is always telling me about the black people he doesn't oh, like shut I'm up just like, i'm trying to make me a racist <laughs> I'm just like, oh, anyways that's all time we have today's episode please go to the crazy uh for jonas tnt oh uh, we out